My husband sometimes asks me questions about politics because I follow it very closely and he does not. He does not follow the day by day, minute by minute updates. So after he watched the January 6th committee hearings, a replay of it, he came to me and he was real super confused and he said, you know, they showed video of insurrectionists on January 6th telling the camera that yes, they are willing to lay down their lives for Donald Trump because Donald Trump has done so much for them that this is the least they could do for him. And so my husband said, what exactly has Donald Trump done for them to make them react in this extreme way? It's not like they're in the top 1% and he's giving them like permanent tax cuts. So I'll tell you what I told him. For some, some, some poor white people, obviously they don't have a lot of capital for whatever reason. Um, They don't have money in the bank. They don't have investments. So the only form of capital that they have that they can hang their hat on is social capital. What does that mean? It means white supremacy. They might be living in a dilapidated house. They might not have been able to afford a dentist. Let's just keep it real. But at least they're not those people. So when Donald Trump comes out and makes them feel superior to Muslims, people coming over the border, they sit back and they say, that's right. That's right. I am superior. And that's all they need from Donald Trump. That's all they need. It doesn't matter that Donald Trump is grifting them when Donald Trump says, hey, send me money and me and my friends will build the border wall. And they do. And then Steve Bannon steals the money. And then Donald Trump pardons him. None of that matters. It's why Donald Trump is part of their identity. Because Donald Trump validates their whiteness. And that's all they have to bank on. Is the hierarchy that so many of us are trying to break down. That's the only thing making them feel like they're worth something. And that alone is enough for them to storm the Capitol and say, yes, I will lay down my life for this man. So when people like me say, why are you voting against your own interests? They would say, we're not.